Hey guys, and welcome back to GameSpot. We've got a little something we're going to unbox today. I'm Dan. I'm Zareen. And we're going to take a look at the Guild Wars 2 Collector's Edition. Yay. It's just landed in the GameSpot office. I know a lot of people are excited about finding out what's inside this massive thing. It was a huge box coming in. Should we start tearing it up? Yes, yes. You can do the honours. Go ahead, Dan. So I think the uh, the obvious one is, is this the guy. The giant dude. Oh, uh, what is he? A char or something? I he think? is a... A Rylock. Right, 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 right lock. Sorry, right lock. You got a sweet um, diorama yeah. backdrop. <laughs> yeah, that's And he takes up the, the, the bulk of this thing. Yes, he, he definitely does. Sweet song. Um, and he's, wow, that's actually really well made and has a lot of detail. Yeah, it's, it's not your usual, you know, six inch... Plastic crappy. Looks like it came from Macca's collector's toy. <laughs> and what else have we got at the, uh, at the bottom? It looks like an art book. Or packaging. Packaging. Oh, wow, look at that. Now, this is this is the meat of this. It is a huge metal box. I believe that is the continent that the, uh, the game takes place on. And this is some sort of regal looking wow. document holder. <laughs> Oh, these are the um, the, the art prints. Documents. So what they're doing is a little different. Normally they give you kind of the, the, the token book. art book. Yeah. Um, and that is included in here as well. But they also give you these lovely high-res images. Oops. That you can hang up in your office or on your desk and show people bathroom, that you're a mad any, Guild Wars fan. Anywhere you would like in to the put bathroom, these things. Yep, in the shower. Also, it comes with this frame so that when you go to hang it, you can put up custom artwork. It's got a little thing. Put it on your mantelpiece. As you said, the <laughs> right bedside table. Right next to the table. family photo. <laughs> yeah, push the family photos out of the way so you can replace them. And these are user replaceable, so you can swap them in and out as, as you like them. Uh, also in the box, we've got a collector's edition copy of the game with a serial code we're not going to show you. No. Uh, we've got two discs in there. We've got the, the soundtrack. best of Guild Wars 2 soundtrack, which would... Uh, Assume there's a lot more than is included on here. There are six tracks, including Fear Not This Night, The Char <laughs> Triumphant, uh, Asura at Work, Heritage of Humanity, and The Saga of the Norn. Yep. And, and now you can drive down the street pumping up that sweet Guild Wars 2 soundtrack. And these are always actually my favourite part. The, uh, the making of. The making of and the art books that come with. So some really, really nice art. Oh, it's got that, wow. uh, that it's new, got the book, new book, smell. book smell. Yeah, I can smell that. <laughs> And Zaria, it looks like heaps more stuff once you get it all out of the box. Yeah, it's very impressive looking. And in addition to that, you also get three days early access to the game, um, as well as some in-game cool stuff, such as the Golem Banker, which essentially lets you use your item, or bank access your bank account like anywhere in the game, as Andy. well as the Chalice of Glory and Term of Influence, which adds influence and glory points, uh, which is pretty self-explanatory in the game, as well as an extra skill, which allows you to summon an extra ally to help you in combat. Excellent. And as we said, it's going to be out on August 28 on the PC, and you can check out the full review for Guild Wars 2 on GameSpot.com.